women's sport has come such a long way in um, the last few years. It's really, it's glamorous and it's feminine, but it's it's healthy and it's you know full of action. So it's, you know whether it be just going down to an event, um, watching the women compete, uh, going to the tennis, watch the girls play, you know, watch women surfing. Um, there's so many good female athletes at the moment, and it's it's. It's exciting to watch because you actually, when you're watching it live, it's so, um, it's kind of like a, so much faster in real life. You actually realize the potential of these um, females and it's very inspiring stuff. So um, yeah, just doing that or go down and sign up yourself for local netball or hockey. I played hockey for many years and absolutely loved it. Um, my sister and I always, you know, sort of discussed re-signing up again just to play it on a Thursday night because it's so much fun. Um, dancing, anything. There's so many good sports to do, and it's just it, it makes you feel good. It makes you look good, and I can guarantee at the at the end of the day you'll feel a lot better. I love everything about surfing. It's, I mean, it basically has consumed my life since I was 10 years old, and being at the beach, it's the, the best lifestyle. I mean, I get to go down there and hang out and in the sun, have some fun, and then. I'm an adventurous kind of girl, I'm not a big fan of just laying there and sunbaking, I think that's kind of boring, so I've always enjoyed just paddling out there, catching waves, it's so refreshing. I think it would have been hard for the older generations, um, females in sport, because they were always, you know, I think sport in general was so male dominated for so long and it was really hard for everyone to break through and to sort of gain that respect and that equality in, uh, in anything, and sport in particular was probably a difficult one and probably one of the late bloomers in the whole um, equality thing but I, I really feel um, well in surfing in my opinion I, I think a lot of the guys are enjoying seeing the progress of girls and, and I think a lot of men in sport are realizing that we're doing it for the same reasons we, we're passionate about being active and healthy and we love being competitive and, and playing a sport but we're not trying to challenge the guys we're doing it in our own way with our own feminine twist on it. And so yeah, I think it's cool, it's come a long way. Motivation, and I kind of draw more from like inspiration. I, I, I just love um, watching other people surf, their different styles. Um, I'm sort of inspired a lot by you know, people outside of the industry. I love musicians and um, artists and my friends, even just something as, as little as my friends, they, they motivate me to, to go out there and live my life and have fun. Of course, traveling the world, I, I definitely see um, you know, a lot of underprivileged kids and stuff, and that just makes me go, wow, my life is so great, and I, I really want to make the most of it. Uh, yeah, the, I mean, there hasn't been too many challenges until like recently, and there's just been like an explosion of things, and um, yeah, I had to you know, sort of, I won my fourth world title and then I came back to Australia and had like this crazy incident where um, I was, you know, a victim of a random attack and it was crazy. It's cool to sort of have something to, to get over because at the end of the day you just, you become stronger and what doesn't kill you makes you stronger and you, yeah, I mean I started the first event of, of the year just excited to go surfing and that was such a good feeling to have again. But yeah, there's definitely, I mean, when you overcome little things along the way, when you actually achieve that um, that success or whatever your goal is, then it makes it so much sweeter. It's really, really important to set some goals, um, to have something to strive for. And I mean, I think most goals stem from that dream. And you know, when you're young and you, of course you're always dreaming and dreaming of something cool and something that you want to be. And you can be whoever you want. You just, you know, if you work hard and if you're passionate about it, then all well, your dreams will come true. I feel like I've achieved a lot of my goals already, but um, at the same time, I one of my favorite mottos is just to never stop learning and just to be open to everything. And yeah, there's so much out there in the world to achieve and to see, to be a part of. And um, so I don't know, I feel like I haven't really achieved that much yet. I feel like I'm just beginning.